what's up everybody welcome back to the channel hopefully you're having a very blessed and wonderful day today's video topic will be a short video going over the additions of suicide squad kill the justice league and what addition you should get if you are interested in picking up the game so first up we have the standard edition now the standard edition has the base price of $69.99 which you know might come out to like $70 and some change at the tax is definitely gonna come up to that price for me real quick I want y'all to leave a like on this video if y'all remember back when PlayStation used to not tax us for purchases like if you paid for something that was $9.99 that's what you paid $9.99 now I gotta play I gotta pay $11.36 like what the fuck how we get here just playstation always gotta get their goddamn money now there's only two pre-order bonuses for the standard edition right so the first up we have the classic outfits which is what each character was wearing during their first or earliest appearances in the comics so for harley we have the classic jester outfit which is what everybody knows her for right this this is iconic if you see this outfit yeah that's harley quinn we have deadshot rocking this jumpsuit or bodysuit whichever term you want to use for it i'm not gonna lie when i first came across this skin not in suicide squad when i first came across this skin uh years ago when i first found out about Deadshot, i'm not I, I won't lie to you i did not like this skin it's ne it's really never been a favorite of mine however it does look decent in suicide squad so it has that going for it i just personally don't like the look of it it is what it is uh king shark pretty much is just wearing pretty much is just wearing a onesie man's letting it all hang out and then we got captain boomerang my main man who's out here giving the joker a run for his money with that atrocious ass hairline and the sideburns jesus christ what was cook when was captain boomerang uh around was that the 70s either way i don't know who in it i don't know who in the editorial process let that slide but nah whoever did nah no, we need to have a conversation. Y'all let this man out here with the atrocious ass sideburns. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into the rogue outfits. So, the rogue outfits, I'm going to put it up on screen so you guys can see it. And the rogue outfits are a PlayStation uh, are a PlayStation exclusive, right? You can only get these by buying the digital deluxe edition of the game. I have no idea if it will be a timed exclusive or if it will be a permanent one. But this is what you get for getting it on playstation now as you can see we got samoa joe out here looking like crocodile hunter with what i assume are 50 caliber shells hanging from hanging from his neck dead shot i'm not gonna lie that dead shot fit is like giving me injustice vibes i won't lie to you harley looks like a punk rock no what, what's the word i'm looking for harley looks like one of those punk kids from the 80s like the outfit the hair like she looks like a punk kid from the 80s that's what that like just you know hanging out in the bar putting money in the jukebox drinking what the malt milkshakes yeah yeah that's what that's the vibe that suit gives me in boomerang yeah boomerang looks australian <laughs> that's all that's all i can say that's all i can say about that now uh moving over to the deluxe and digital deluxe editions so the deluxe edition will run your pockets for about nine dollars and 99 cents which might come out to like again 103 103 dollars and probably some tax because at the taxes they gonna hit you now in this edition you get justice league outfits you get uh boomerang gets a flash outfit king shark gets a superman outfit deadshot gets a batman suit which i'm not gonna lie looks very dope and harley gets a wonder woman outfit which definitely leaves green lantern as the odd man out because as we know of current we have five main league members and he's the only one that doesn't have a skin for anybody but who knows maybe we'll end up getting his costume for a dlc character uh later on down the road now you can also get three black mass notorious weapons so you can start off the game with some decent weapons which will possibly you know help you with the farming process while you're trying to get new gear and weapons and things of that nature because again this is a looter shooter now uh, also in case people don't remember black mass is technically dead in the arkhamverse as far as we know because we watched red hood you know sparta kick him out of window yeah that was that's a that's a dlc that a lot of people who played the arkham series remember vividly uh you also get a set of squad gold weapon dolls 
which are basically like attachments that you can toss on your weapon so for example think the batman doll that's think the batman doll that we've seen that's attached around uh the hilt of harley's bat you also get one battle pass token to use right one free battle pass token now the battle pass will go by season and there will be a pass for each season of the year giving us a total of four battle passes right now this token it lets you redeem the premium version of the pass it doesn't get you a tier it lets you get the premium version of the pass so you get the entire pass for free and you can hold on to that extra 10 bucks that day that you would have spent on the pass and you know go ahead and get you some lunch now, somebody like me i'm gonna lie to you i can definitely finesse a fully loaded dinner for ten dollars it ain't easy if it's cheesy now the no shade color swatches which is something that definitely confused me when i looked at it a little bit uh i might be colorblind i'm not sure i couldn't really find an in-game picture of it but i believe this poster is quite possibly the best example we're gonna get for a hot minute so you pretty much get uh skins with no color to them at all i'll zoom in here for you so you can see so there's no shade right now that's definitely going to be fun to use during the nighttime and what this basically tells me is that uh the game is going to have color swaps so you'll be able to uh you'll be uh, I, I don't know if uh we can actually like transmog weapons and gear but we will be able to change the colorways of our outfit so far which is definitely a plush what other uh, color swatches they might have in game we don't know but you get you definitely get the no shade one as a part of the deluxe edition now moving over to the pre-order bonuses so you get everything that you got in the last edition which is the rogue outfits and the classic outfits but you also get 72 hours early access meaning that you can play it january 30th instead of february 2nd now there's also a steel book and that will be an amazon exclusive i'll put it up here on screen for you right look at that steel book it's simple it's nice it's clean i collect steel books i don't know if i'm getting this one however because i get all my games digital now because uh i get all my games digital for a very specific reason that's the reason i'm not going to get into in this video but there's also no collector's edition as well as far as we know if we do get one though i definitely will cover it here on the channel now in terms of which edition you should buy let me go ahead and throw this disclaimer out there first for anybody new coming to my channel i do not tell people what to buy I simply explain my reasoning for why I'm buying it and why I like the game. I then suggest that if you have even the slightest interest in the game, the least you can do is simply try it out for yourself and judge it for yourself instead of judging something that you haven't played or have been hearing other people trash the game and you're letting them influence your own decision. If you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. All I ask is that you follow your own mind with this game. Because after God the Nice died out, numerous people who were heading on the game played it once it was on Game Pass or PlayStation Plus and was like, Perhaps I treated you too harshly. Yeah, yeah, that man, that Mandela effect kicked in vividly. Now, onwards to the additions. So, which additions should you buy? Now, I'm gonna be honest, I keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Standard is definitely the way to go. It's crazy saying that, knowing that, you know, I, <laughs> I'm getting the deluxe edition, but that's simply because I want it. I personally want it, and I'm all in on Suicide Squad, so it wasn't even a second thought for me. Most people are really sitting on the fence right now about this game for numerous reasons, and a good number of them are looking for any excuse to not buy the game. Spending that extra 30, I won't lie, is definitely attacking some people in the hearts and pockets. And I understand that 100%. That's why I'm really just suggesting you only get the deluxe edition if you're more than at the least 60% interested in the game. Because, yeah, you'll get the game early and you'll get some extra tidbits, of course. But if you're above that 60%, I'm assuming that you actually want all or at least some of those extra things that you're going to be getting and you won't feel some type of way about buying the deluxe edition after you get it, right? Now, if you think you're going to feel some type of way, just go ahead, get the standard and call it a day because worst case scenario, you pay, 60, uh, you pay $70, you get the game, don't like it, you just chalk it up to a loss because you don't lost like what a day's worth of money that you can probably make make back during your next shift at work right worst case scenario but with that being said that's gonna go ahead and bring us to the end of the video so if you're if you're really interested get the deluxe if not just get the standard and call it a day 
hopefully y'all have had a great time watching this video uh let me know down in the comment section below are you buying the game are you not buying it if you are which edition are you getting and why i'm curious as to how y'all are currently feeling and again if you've enjoyed the video please remember to like share and subscribe and smack the notifications bell so that you'll never miss out on any of my future suicide squad related content and i will catch y'all in the moonlight peace